In this video, I'm going to make a survival game in Unity completely from scratch. By the way, I'm a beginner so don't expect me to write amazing code. Most of it is probably going to be stolen from Bracky's. With all that out of the way, let's make the game. Let's establish some features for the game. We'll need a player, some enemies, weapons and items, a map to roam around in, an inventory system, a day and night cycle, and as this is a survival game, a hunger and thirst system. Now, I know what you're thinking. Big Toe, aren't you basically just making Minecraft? Y yes Yes, I am. The only difference is that you can't place or destroy blocks. There's no multiplayer and it's probably gonna be shit. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Firstly, let's make the player. We'll use a pre-made character controller for now and make our own later down the line. Player, check. Secondly, we need some enemies to pose as a threat to our player and make the game more interesting. <laughs> Great! Now we needed to follow the player around because right now it's just standing there and it's kind of useless. And with a bit of bada boom bada bop, now it follows us around. Nice! This was achieved by using the Unity Nav Mesh component, which handles all the AI so I don't have to code shit. Thanks, Unity. When the enemy comes to a certain distance to the player, it stops. This is also where the time it needs to attack. After watching some Bracky's videos, we now have an attacking enemy. <laughs> Look at him go. Enemy, check. Now we need something to protect ourselves from the enemies. Weapons. I started making a gun. Well, if you can even call that thing a gun. Don't worry, we'll change that later. Hopefully. After a bit of fiddling around, I got the gun to shoot and damage the enemies. And with a few shots, our enemy dies. Yay. This works by shooting a ray cast from the camera whenever we left click. It then collects the information about what it hit, and if it's an enemy, it damages it. If you want to learn more about this, watch this amazing Bracky's video. Now, guns are cool and all, but you know what's better? Yeah, melee weapons. Well, technically they're not, because you can never bring a sword to a gunfight, but that'll just be stupid, because wh why would you bring a sword fight to a gunfight? Like, what the f***? It basically works the same as the gun, but it has less range. I tried adding knockback to the weapon, just like in Minecraft, but this is how that turned out. Yeah. Weapons, check. Kinda. Not really. If you're enjoying the video so far, please like the smash button real quick. Thanks. I decided not to add knockback and started working on the enemy spawner. The spawners will be an empty game object stored in another empty game object named spawners. Yeah, that probably made no sense at all. Anyways, all you guys need to know is that enemies now spawn randomly between these three points. If you guys want a tutorial for this, leave a comment down below. We've made a considerable amount of progress so far, but once we make the character models and furniture in Blender, the game will start coming together. Well, hopefully. After finishing all that, I was tired of working on the game mechanics, so I started modeling houses in Blender. My first designs were a bit more cartoony and I wasn't happy with how the interior turned out. As this is a survival game, I wanted each building to have an exploration element and these didn't achieve that. On my second design, I focused more on the interior and I was very happy with the overall look. I imported these over to Unity and we now have houses. I fiddled around with the terrain to get a sense of what the environment could look like, but I couldn't design one that I was happy with. I think that I'll stick to the flat ground for now and I'll decide later on. Now I've been avoiding working on this feature because I've tried making it in the past and I failed, but I think now is the time to work on it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I followed this tutorial from CodeMonkey and I still managed to fuck things up. Great. Now I don't know what to do. What does this mean? I referenced it, what the f I spent at least 3 hours trying to debug this and I got nowhere. It's probably something really really simple and I'm just being stupid. I decided to scrap the whole thing and just made a simpler version of it. Basically how the new inventory system will work is, when you pick up or interact with an item, 
is instantiated in this weapon holster. A script will then be used to cycle through those game objects. Technically, it's not really an inventory system, but it works. Kinda. I made the item switching system and now we can cycle through our different weapons, the sword and the pistol. And once again, our boy Brackies helped us with another tutorial. I swear this whole game is practically made by Brackies. After that, I tried to implement the picking up system. It was going smoothly until I ran into another problem. This weapon won't instantiate in the right place! Along with the scuffed inventory system, I also made changes to the weapons. The stats are now stored in a scriptable object named weapon. Basically, scriptable objects just make it easy to define stats and variables. Now, if we want to create a new weapon, we can just create a new weapon scriptable object and change the stats. For example, if we want to create a rifle, we'll just change the fire rate, the damage, and so on. Now, unfortunately, that's all I made this week. Next week, we'll be finishing the game off by making the character models, enemy models, and the weapon models, and all the environmental stuff to make the game look good. And we'll also be adding the features such as the hunger system and the day and night cycle. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking the smash button and subscribing for more stupid videos. Turn on the notification bell to see my latest uploads and that's it. Peace.